How are y'all doing today? Today, we're gonna make a epic burger. Let's get started. It's gonna be mighty fine. So stick around. We have some ground chuck, 80-20, and some boneless beef short ribs. Boneless beef short ribs. Now I got some of this head country sweet and spicy uh, rub. Just going to season them very, very liberal with that on both, both sides. Oh yeah. Now flip it over and repeat. Looks pretty good. Looks good. I'm going to put that in the fridge. Let it rest, hang out for a little bit. Getting our charcoal grill ready for some indirect slow cooking on the old Weber. So I just lit about 10 coals, put them on this side, and it'll slowly burn. I've got a little bit of hardwood here. I think this is apple, that's all I had. Throw a couple pieces throughout here, just like that. Put a thermometer right there. Whenever the grill temp gets to about 225 or so, we'll throw them on there. And I'm gonna clean the grates too. So, lid on. Uh, I'm leaving that wide open. My bottom vent, I got about a quarter of the way open. Is that thermometer gonna work? We'll see, it's brand. So it's working. Don't know how well you can see it. I got an app on my phone too that alerts me, but where's that plug at? I didn't have that plugged in all the way. <laughs> so, working now. Let's just wait. The old Weber's pretty much ready now. The old Weber's pretty much ready. Let's throw these boneless beef short ribs on there. We're at 221, perfect. Slap them right there. Slap them right there. Get out of there, though. Come on, come on, come on. All right, now we're just gonna let them cook. I want these to cook a little bit quicker. I'm probably gonna bring the heat up to about 275 degrees. Let them cook for a couple hours and then I'll probably wrap them. We'll see. Let's just let them go. Bat. 275 is my target temperature now what our beef short ribs are looking like uh internal temp of the meat is 153 the pit temp the pit temperature was about 280 it's uh climbed down since i opened the lid right there's what our beef short ribs is looking like looking mighty fine and i put a thermometer in them my thing shut off. I think the battery died. But these are at 155, and my pit, my pit temperature was about 180. So I'm gonna pull these and wrap them. I got them in some heavy duty aluminum foil, and right here, what I have is beef stock. This is just water with better than bouillon it's about a cup and a half of water with a heaping spoonful of better than bouillon we're going to pour about half of this on top of it just like that covered tightly going to put it back on the grill just to let it braise Thermometer's working again. Pit temp is 298. The meat is at 140 is what it says. And I don't care if the pit temp goes up to like 325 because I really want it to braise and get real, real nice and tender. That's what it looks like. Put that thermometer in there. Just let it go. Let it go. Short ribs cooked for probably about five hours 
they reached an internal temperature of about 205 and we're gonna go ahead and pull them and let them rest for a little while got two quarter pound beef patties that I pounded out put a little salt and pepper on them now we're gonna throw the patties right there over them hot flames oh man bam let's get that in over a little bit maybe flip them flip them that fell plumb fart oh well That burger is done. This one had a little bit of a mishap. Here is our, whoa. Here is our short rib. Look at it. Look at that smokiness. I put it in this pan right here, let it cool down, and I shredded it up real, real fine. On bottom side of the bun, Gonna put a little, just a tad bit of mayonnaise. Tad bit of mayonnaise. We're gonna make like a grilled cheese patty melt burger. Let me get that spread it out. Just like, just like that. Come over to our skillet that's over medium heat. We'll lay that bad boy down. Slice of pepper jack. Hamburger patty. A little bit of uh, Blue Hogs Smoky Mountain Barbecue Sauce. A little bit of that. Now, we're going to add our beef short rib right over the top of that. Another slice of pepper jack. Pause. Two pickles. And that's bread and butter pickles. Another slice of pepper jack. And top bun. Let's press that down. We're gonna grill that bad boy. That was nice and toasty. Give it a good, good smash. Just like that. Let's see if it's ready to flip. I have a feeling it is. Ow, burnt myself, burnt myself. Oh, getting a little toasty. Smash her down, let her cook for another minute or two. Another, let's give it another flip. Look at that right there. Oh, it's getting toasty now. Look at that. Try about that. I'm going to cover this thing for a second to let the cheese melt. I went ahead and flipped it one more time. I'm going to press that thing down. It's going to be tender, it's going to be juicy, and it's going to be freaking delicious. Let's pull that bad boy. Man, that looks mighty fun. There she is. Man, that looks good. Mmm. All right, let's try this bad boy out, guys. Look at that. That beef patty, that short rib, that pickle, that pepper rack, pepper jack cheese, and what else we got? That's about it. Barbecue sauce. Mmm. 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 All right, let's try another bite. Mmm. 
Look at this down here, guys. Look at this one. That's something else right there. Mmm. We also got a side of coleslaw with that. Very it go perfect with it. Mmm. And it does. Watch this. Get that coleslaw. Put it on that burger right there. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. <clears throat> sure is mighty fine, y'all. Hope y'all enjoy. Thanks for watching, and I will see y'all for another episode.